the DRMC2, but we're off. So these players started off with the exact same set of moves, but now we're seeing Dimwit setting up to drop down a horizontal, possibly just build up this combo game. Yeah, what a crazy start. He had an amazing horizontal setup that Floyd definitely didn't go for, and then uh, unfortunately broke it without comboing. Gets a T, though, and uh, honestly, Floyd honestly looks like he's uh, starting to fall behind early on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see Dimwit, his board is completely clean at the moment. Uh, now, that horizontal yellow cleared out already, so it looked like garbage, but uh, Dimwit bringing his uh, speed strats to play here, honestly. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see how that goes, because uh, as anyone who's uh, well-versed in verses knows, uh, the name of the game is Garbage, <laughs> which is something that, uh, or Combos, rather, sending garbage through Combos, which is notably absent from speed play, not something Dimwood is probably very used to doing um, in his mm -hmm. speed play. So uh, it, it doesn't look like he's quite adapted to that yet, but uh, he's uh, no, uh, no, you know, no stranger to the idea and the concept. So I'm sure that uh, as time goes on here, we might see him pick that up a little bit. Yeah, the Floyd picking up a quick lead. You know, at the beginning, we were saying that his board didn't look so good. It looked like the garbage was hurting him more than it was hurting Dimwood, but he's pretty clean now. And columns one and two, taking this down in a nice combo and tucking. Ooh, oh, I think he wanted to tuck he, that yellow underneath and yeah, make a good combo, but it didn't happen. Definitely a missed combo opportunity there. Um, and uh, now the garbage is starting to bring it back a little bit. Um, I think the biggest advantage that Floyd's going to have here over Dimwood is just the raw speed of his play. Um, mm -hmm. It makes a big uh, difference in verses, especially, um, even if we're not... Uh, playing by a timer and we're not racing against the clock it's still very relevant to be going faster than your opponent to get the combos faster than your opponent and give them less time to set up their own combos and send garbage back to you so that sort of concept of tempo is a huge deal in, in verses for sure yeah the thing is that i think the gravity feels so much more different when you're playing verses and it gets difficult to play those tuck plays and even if you see that great combo and it's uninterrupted by garbage you know it, it the tucks still don't work. Ooh, Dimwit comboing himself, sending garbage down that perfectly cleared stuff off of Floyd's board. So Floyd gets a little bit of advantage, although Dimwit did sneak ahead for just a second. Uh, yep, it looks like he's only a virus behind in ca uh, virus count, but if you look at the boards, I mean, Floyd is just looking so clean, and uh, sometimes that's even more relevant than the number of viruses remaining on the board. Sure, yeah. We we refer to that as board health. Now, the interesting thing is, though, with Floyd starting to get so much uh, of his board cleaned out and get it so down low, it means that some of Dimwit's garbage might actually take a really long time to fall on Floyd's board. But Dimwit comboing himself <laughs> again. You gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, it, I... It works out for you. I hate it when that happens, but... <laughs> Dimwit just pulled down a triple, most of it garbage. Yep, I mean, honestly, uh, depending on uh, your style of play, even if you're just making combos out of garbage only and not clearing any viruses at all, in speed play you might consider that a complete waste of time, but in versus, given how powerful garbage is, that could be perfectly fine, maybe even better than clearing a virus in some cases. Yeah. Now, Dimwit's column one is going to be the trouble spot. He's just going to have to work on cleaning that out. It's going to be slow going for him. And, of course, if Floyd's garbage drops it all on column one, that's going to slow Dimwit down even more. But Dimwit, or sorry, Floyd, rather, looking to drop this nice combo down in column seven and eight. But that red virus in column one buried Leviticus. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, that is going to be a huge issue for him. But uh, it looks like he does have some like some ideas to to get it out of there at least all the garbage on top of it is relatively doubled up so um it's not going to be too much of a slog to get it out and dimwitz or floyd rather is going to come up with a fat log here <laughs> yeah. nicely done <laughs> that's our double horizontal i'm surprised he didn't go for that uh, double blue and tuck it in between the yellows on column eight or sorry the the yellow blue but uh Things going along okay here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Floyd seems to have unburied his uh, column one virus and cleared it away. But speaking of buried viruses, uh, Dimwit's got a column six blue here at the very bottom of the bottle. Um, and uh, he may not have time to get it out as Floyd is uh, just a virus away here. 
Yeah, just needs a couple more reds. So Dimwit better get his combo game out, and there are no obvious combos. Floyd takes that first game. Now, you notice him. He started to jump up and down, and that's the thing. <laughs> like, sometimes you do that because, like, you maybe subconsciously you think it'll help. I don't know. I do that too. I, I bet if you're, I think if you're used to sitting, some people are used to maybe like bouncing in their chair or something like that. And then when you have to stand on the stage, like these guys are doing right now, uh, you just, you, you don't, you know, you can't do that anymore. So you just do uh, the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> well, Dimwit's in a uh... little bit of a spot already with this garbage. Now, a lesser player, that would have been a top out because the gravity feels so high up close to the top of the bottle. But Floyd's managed to keep relatively clean, except for this column A, it's a little bit of a hassle. Mm -hmm. Honestly, doing what Dimwit did, even for an experienced player, can be quite dangerous, because mm -hmm. even <laughs> if you are in complete control and you're experienced enough to survive a situation like that, when you build up top, very high in the top columns at the very start, it can only take one piece of garbage in one of those center columns to put you in a situation where you're forced to top out, and that could be the whole round right there. Definitely. That actually happened to me in the round of eight last year. I just sort of blinked at the top of the board. There was a this drop in. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. So regardless of uh, how good you are, it's always a risk to do that. A lot of players tend to clear out the center, uh, the top center very early to sort of avoid those sorts of dangerous situations because uh, no one wants to lose a game off a single piece of garbage. That is an <laughs> awful feeling. <laughs> yeah. Now, Dimwit had a piece of garbage sent to Floyd that actually helped him out. He was able to clear something out horizontally, but the whole right-hand side of Floyd's board is just a mess right now, and yeah. he's not going to really be able to get stuff over to that column eight. It would take some really precise taps, and now with the gravity increasing, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the, uh, the garbage going on over there, I was just thinking to myself that Dimwit seemed to be you know, playing much at a much slower pace and maybe missing some combo opportunities that he that i was able to see but then you look over at floyd's board and his column six through eight are just a complete mess stacked to the top it's he's not going to be at risk of top out because of that but it is going to make it incredibly difficult to clear out that side of the board unless he can get some under clears or horizontals or something like that now Dimwit just had an amazing combo at just clearing out that left-hand side of the board and sent quite a bit of damage to Floyd, but Floyd, who I was not looking at at the time, sent a quad down to Dimwit. So at, it's done relatively little damage. So Dimwit, you know, cruising through. Red's going to be important for him to get pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, as far as Floyd's board goes, like I said, that column six through eight still looking... A little rough, gets a combo in the center of the board there, and he's, his left side looks amazing, perfectly clean and clear, mm -hmm. but as you can see, these columns that are stacked at the top on the right uh, doesn't look pretty. No, and actually, I, I do not really like the fact that Floyd's board is so clear on the left-hand side, because that means that any garbage that Dimwit <gasps> sends is just going to fly down. Oh, yeah, Floyd definitely wanted to tuck that red, <laughs> double red, into the bottom, right, and just... It was too fast. It didn't mm. happen. I think it was just a misinput or something. It's hard to say. It's always hard to tell when you see it without, uh, without being the one playing. <laughs> right. But okay, that... so Dim was about five viruses ahead now, but also looking a little bit like a mess. Good tuck. He gets the sweet tea to clear out a bunch of garbage and send a combo down to Floyd. Mm -hmm. Floyd having a tough time making any progress on the right. Um, one thing he may... Oh, well, it looks like he's doing some horizontal clearing now. One thing he may elect to do um, is just to start com doing empty combos that don't involve any viruses on the left side where it's clear, just to send as much garbage as possible to Dimwit so that he may have a chance to catch up. That could be mm -hmm. maybe an act of, of desperation, you might think, but uh, <laughs> it can be surprisingly effective in games where you feel like you're behind. Right, and we have seen people be 10, even 20 viruses ahead, and then the empty virus combos uh they really they really do some big damage now floyd mm -hmm. just missed one he did have the opportunity to do a combo on the left hand side but didn't quite make it and yeah this board he hasn't made any move on a virus in quite some time but yeah. now he's oh. doing back doing back to back combos exactly and we know yeah those fall in the exact same column so dimwood's gonna have to wait and he's gonna have to hope that that damage in those columns isn't too great mm -hmm. And as the left side is starting to stack up for him now, um, he may not have any other choice but to try to just combo his way out of this because uh, especially when you're behind, 
um, and their your opponent's board is relatively clear. Combos fall for much longer and are sort of even more fit, more uh, potent than they would or otherwise be. So it actually can work out for you. Now he's starting to bring down this six and seven, um, and uh, he still just has maybe like seven or eight viruses in column eight alone that he's going to have to deal with. But uh, ooh, and that yeah, that five and six. Uh, you see that? Yeah, he hung that up. Floyd hung that up, and it is. It's going to be dangerous because the speed is quite high. Yep, and that, that pill is uh, jetting out into column 5, so if garbage starts to fall on it, that could stack all the way up to the top and top them out. Yeah, and it, that that would just be such a tough thing to see, being topped out with 10 viruses left to go. It's just not something that, I, when you're playing casually at home, really happens. Um, but uh, yeah, so Dinwit's board looks like a, a hot mess. I'm just wondering. I think both of them are. And as time goes yeah. on, the speed gets higher. Um, it's entirely possible that, and looking even more likely now, that one way or another, this game's going to end in a top out, I think. Uh, Dimwit yeah. still has some Ooh. openings to clear viruses, but these boards are getting messy and the pills are getting faster. And they may not be able to clear these before the pills are so fast they have no choice. And it might be oh, happening and here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and you see, Dimwit did not expect that, and he's so grateful that he he was not given the opportunity to have that gravity take over. So mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna keep going, marching into game three in One all. specify. Quick T from uh, in the first two pills, and Dimwit finds the first combo easily. Yeah, but you know, Floyd's already out from under it. Just that one piece of garbage. Actually, now yep. it's now it's starting mm -hmm. to build up a little bit. Even if that... it doesn't do that much damage, it's just you get that small little uh, step ahead where you get to move where your opponent doesn't setting up combos, and then it starts to snowball. It can be a huge advantage to get that first combo, whether it's uh, devastating or not on its own. Yeah, and you know when when we talk about the the most elite players, you often talk about okay, well, who gets the first combo because that's going to be key. Mm -hmm. So nice combo from Dimwit. He he looks a little bit confused because I think he wanted to make that into a combo where he drops the red horizontally, but you know. He's cruising along with a slight lead over Floyd. Mm -hmm. I don't love the Floyd setups here. It doesn't look like he has any any specific combos if he can get some here. Yep, that'll be it. Oh, he's going to get two combos really quickly. It moves so fast that sometimes you just have right? to... <laughs> you have to set... Like, the setups happen so fast it can look bad, but if you get the right pills and know how to use them, you can you can uh, make treasure out of trash, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and Dimwit's got a rough column, too. Um, that's kind of his, his issue. And he's just trying to bring it down horizontally and he's got the moves, you know, he can make those tucks because mm -hmm. the speed isn't that high yet. Um, yep. And Floyd gives, uh, gives him, uh, that's sort of a double combo in a row here. That's sort of his signature, I would say. Uh, just his straightforward, quick play. He's just looking to make quick doubles as fast as possible in the hopes of giving uh, two uh, two double combos in a row so that they will fall in the same column, uh, which tends to be particularly damaging. Right, and Dimwit actually responding with some similar, similar moves. Uh, just a couple of quick combos, and now you see how clean Dimwit's board is. Yeah, definitely... Uh... <laughs> If you just froze us in time right now and just looked at their two boards, uh, you'd have some opinions. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean that Floyd is out of it. Like I said, anyone can. Uh, it's definitely possible to make comebacks if you can make combos and if those combos fall in the right place. Um, you can definitely uh, start to claw your way back. Yeah, and sometimes a clean board like Dimwit had just a minute ago is it means you don't have any combos in the hopper, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's going to be a little bit slow going until you can build those up. Now, I, I do like Floyd's board, uh, except for the fact that it's very reliant on blue and yellow. But look, he's able to make a bunch of combos mm -hmm. if he gets that blue-yellow going. Absolutely, and there's another one. Um, and as you can see, both uh, Dimwit's clean board is starting to look a little messy right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and Floyd able to fire off Two combos right away, another combo, and Dimwit's column one is just a wreck, but he gets a nice uh, sweet tea out of this. Oh yeah, he was waiting for it. He was watching that garbage mm -hmm. fall, and he saw the, the, the resolving piece coming next, and he was like, come on, just let me do it. <laughs> I know. You know, so you, I'm surprised that they're not yelling at each other and yelling <laughs> at this game, because that's what happens in my house, you know, so... Well, in the privacy of your own home, things are a little different, I think. <laughs> <laughs>
Right now, Dimwit getting a combo down the center of the board with some garbage. You see Floyd putting down that controller in frustration. Got a lot of red on the top of his board, but he's starting to make some tucks underneath and work with layers below the top. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, right now, Dimwit's looking like he's got a pretty... He's, he's making his way. He's quickly soon going to have a... a a free and clear end game here to, to close mm -hmm. this out. Um, Dimwit, I mean, uh, Floyd is going to have to hope that he can maybe combo his way into uh, blocking him long enough to catch up, but he's only got three viruses left to clear now on Dimwit's side. Yeah, I mean, Dimwit, though, is in a position where, yeah, combos could be really, really devastating. He's got to figure out how to clear out this column eight. It looks like... Okay, so he's doing those empty... Virus clears, but you see, he did not want that to fall in column seven. No, that... Luckily, it's two reds, which can help him go a little bit more quickly. But yeah, this is tough. Mm -hmm. Well, he's gonna have to just make like if he's not getting the pieces he needs, he just needs to make more combos to keep Floyd at bay while he just tries to struggle this out. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, and you see Floyd. Oh wow! Hesitating. Dimwit uh, just deciding okay. to go vertical here. I think he takes the combo instead of going for the virus. Well done. But now he's clear. He just needs a couple more reds, and he's going to get is. it. And that's two to one for Dimwit. Woo! Wow. Woo. Wow. <laughs> They're just going right back into it. They really yeah, don't even give us a chance. <laughs> like... <laughs> I know. They have they have no consideration. That's for first our combo. Feelings. First combo again oh, for Dimwit here. Dimwit, yeah, and that was a bad oh. one. And look at oh, column six for Floyd. That's gonna be tough. He's gonna have to. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I He's think he took, he didn't make a combo, but he just took the safe play just to survive for survival's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. But notice that's gotten Dimwit off to a really good start here. Just a tiny bit of garbage. He's not getting any blue, which is really frustrating. And it's just gonna be hard for him to set up plans there he goes he gets an l oh. into a vertical so that's going to be a triple down for floyd uh, luckily wow. falls perfectly <laughs> and Dimwit triples himself when does that happen oh man i think someone's uh throwing floyd a bone here because that was uh, <laughs> that, that you was, don't see that every day yeah. <laughs> yeah floyd's starting to get his combo game working again dimwit in a little bit of trouble he's making uh a spicy horizontal setup here on Dimwit's side. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to have to build up to clear that. And I think he's just going to... Okay, he gets a yellow to sort of even it out. And I think he's just going to... Oh, or, you know, maybe the garbage will just come before him. Uh, you know, if it can happen for Floyd, it can happen for Dimwit, I suppose. Yeah, but, you know, it happened way, way better for Floyd. Wow. Just... We can't yeah. all be Floyd, okay? That's... I know, we can't all be Floyd. <laughs> this is true, this is true. We can't all have that kind of luck. Um, yeah, but Floyd had a really good run of just, like, ripping these combos off of the board. Um, and it's slowing down, obviously, because oh. of what Dimwit's doing at the moment. Dimwit had an amazing L setup, and then an errant clear just messed it mm -hmm. all up, and he lost his combo and messed up his board. Uh, and Floyd, oh, is, hate... Floyd is really clearing things up. He's really battling back, so that might really give him a chance here. Yeah, and Floyd in the lead right now, dropping a combo down the right-hand side of the board, but getting a triple, and that is a devastating triple, just nothing was where it, it could be. Nothing matched up. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, uh, Dimwit's already halfway up the board again with garbage. Yikes. And uh, a there's nice more combos coming. Floyd. Yeah, that'll be a double <laughs> combo on uh, on Dimwit here. And uh, this is suddenly the the whole uh, state of the game just feels like it's been flipped around. It does, but I'm so worried for Floyd right now. Like, look at all this blue yellow. That's just it's not a great spot to be in. But look, he can. Oh, oh. well, he has a T. No, he can still T. He can still T. He and doesn't, doesn't go for tea. the T. He doesn't T, and then he doesn't go for the horizontal into the T. Floyd, Floyd, what are you doing, man? <laughs> okay, get let's... this going. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like one of the things I've noticed of Floyd's play is that uh, he tends to be a little tunnel vision on vertical setups and, and clearing. And uh, in situations like that, it can it can hurt him. But uh, despite that, he's still in a very uh, healthy position here. So he's going to get an auto combo here as the garbage falls perfectly again. Um, so, you know, I don't think uh, it's going to hurt him too much in this game. I think we are going to see a game five, knock on wood. Yeah, I mean, at this moment, it would have to be some crazy stuff. But, of course, Floyd only has blue-yellow. And, I mean, look at, you know, Dimwit's board pretty crazy here, although he's got a cross set up with that double blue very nicely done. It doesn't do any damage to Floyd. So that's pretty great. You love to see that. And Floyd getting a triple to open up everything on the board. Now, he has wrecked a horizontal opportunity in row one. But, you know, that was going to be a really long slog anyway to do. And uh, and so a little bit too difficult. It's okay. three, two to sixteen. Yep, he's gonna get a second last, and the uh, cross is gonna send another combo to him. But luckily, doesn't damage anything. Uh, he has one more combo on the way to him now. Doesn't block it. Uh, yes. <laughs> the opportunity. But another for combo coming. And another Whew. T in a moment here. But we know. Oh, it won't... oh hold on. Yes. Oh, there Floyd you go. gets it That's in. It. Yes. Very nicely done. We are going to a. Decider. Game what five, up? let's get it. I would I would make a comment, but I feel like they're just gonna start right away here in a moment. I don't want to get cut off. I wanna see this. Here we go. <laughs> we'll see if Floyd can finally get a first combo here. Neither player getting anything right off the bat. Uh looks like it's gonna be Dimwit using those double yellows to get a combo. Not terribly damaging for Floyd though. Right, and Floyd actually using that garbage that's fallen on the right-hand side to set up his own combo. Nicely done. Yep, both players, uh, nobody's really making combos here yet. As I say that, I think we're going to see a quad for Dimwit. Wow, okay. Okay. Uh, and a double but... on top of that. Oh, and another. Wow. And another. Yeah, I mean, the only issue right now is just that column seven in the center are looking a little uh, a little sketchy for Floyd, but uh, he's going to uh, take it down with a horizontal a little lower on the board. Gets another combo here, and Dimwit uh, has a T set up that he's going to need to clear, uh, otherwise his board is about to be mighty unhealthy. <laughs> right, and there he goes. He drops it. And it drops a lot of uh, red horizontal possibilities. Oh, that's wow. dangerous. Column four is dangerous for Dimwit I... here. Wow, look at that. Still managed to get a combo. And he is just scooting stuff around this garbage. Brings it down a little bit. It is, you know, it's slightly safer and gets a T. Very oh. nicely done. But still, this is not ideal. Absolutely. Yeah, that was that was dangerous. No doubt about it. This garbage is going to give him a T set up here that he's going to take and into, into another combo. Oh, and so he is out of danger. Wow. What a that, survival artist. Absolutely. And he's, and he's comboing the entire way. That's incredible. <laughs> and Floyd just firing off a combo. Lots of blues off the center of the board. Now, that right-hand side is, is a mess, right? It's all blue-yellow, so it's just going to take the same thing over and over again to clear out. So let's hope he, let's hope he can get that going. Yeah, he has a lot of yellow and blue on the right side, and it looks like it's stacked a little high, but at the very least, it is set up to combo out if he can get there. Doesn't seem to be getting the pills to do that. Um, luckily, the garbage doesn't fall there. We'll see if he can go for it, because the other consideration now is that the pills are starting to move very quickly. He's finding other combos on the left instead, and now garbage is blocked off. So at this point, uh, this right side is looking very sketchy, whereas uh, for Dimwit, his board is quite even. Um, while it may have some garbage of its own, he doesn't have any... Uh, columns stacked at the top of the board to contend with. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, even though he couldn't make any moves on his viruses, he was still just able to rip off a bunch of garbage and just make it into a combo. Yeah, but it's, it's, starting, it's starting to build up now, but he's going to find an L, uh, and then he's going to take <laughs> down this large setup again to send two combos uh, to, uh, Floyd's way, stacking those right side columns even higher. Yeah, I just, I really don't this is just so slow going for Floyd, and honestly, like, if he has to balance, he has to figure out how to balance trying to clear viruses with just trying to clear all this gar garbage away with trying to clear combos, it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, I feel like his best bet is either to just 
try to combo Dimwood out or to uh, just drill down all the clear at the uh, the center and the left so that he can start to try to maybe under clear on the right and make something happen there because uh, he has such a popcorn situation going on with the mixed colors on the right that I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything productive with that. Yeah, and Dimwood is just using this opportunity. He takes a triple off the center of the board, and that's just devastating for Floyd, although he's got a sweet T on the side, does nothing other than to clear out a little bit of garbage for Dimwit. Yep, uh, they're still comboing back and forth, but uh, Dimwit is handily in the lead here on basically all counts, so if uh, Floyd does not uh, find some particularly damaging garbage soon, uh, he may not be able to battle back from this. Mm. But uh, he is going to find another combo here at the very least. Um, and uh, yeah, like as you can see, he's just sort of living on the left side here. There's really nothing he can do on the right. And now that he has a big gulf in the center, making any sort of horizontal attempts on this right side is pretty much impossible. Oof. And Dimwit just had an amazing combo there, uh, getting a double vertical off of the horizontal. <sighs> oh, that's a so... bad hang for Floyd. Oh, no. Oh, that's two. That could be two top outs. It, we, we might see it here. Oh, and he is trying to tuck inside uh, in that yellow. Finally gets it. Brings oh, it down just a little down, bit, but, but no I don't combo. know. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I think the writing is on the wall here, and that's oh. it. Dimwit takes it. Three to two, and he's going to move on to the top yeah. four. Goodness. What a what a Ooh. match. That was uh that was incredible. That last game uh Floyd survived I think a lot longer than most would have under an onslaught like that. So props mm -hmm. to him. He played great. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like Rod is getting closer and closer to the end game here. He's not. Uh, he's not. He doesn't have like a huge amount of garbage that's been crowding up like we're seeing on Dave's board. So I think if Dave wants to win here, he's going to have to find a way to make use of that. Um, he has making a combo set up now. If he could get this like blue L into this red, these two red drops, which is what he's going for. And it looks like as soon as this garbage mm -hmm. falls, he will get it. But while he's waiting, uh, oh. we have Rodzilla just pulling further and further away. Oh, that, that was a rough play. So in his column three, those yellows, um, that's not what he wanted. And then, of course, with versus play, your opponent is just going to drop garbage at the worst possible place that it could uh, absolutely be. And that's what happened there. So um, it's just covering up what he did not want covered. <laughs> of course, as, as usual. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like uh, Dave is having some trouble. He looks like he had a misflip of that yellow blue about halfway up the board. And now the pill speed is just getting rapid at an insane pace here and it's starting to get away from him as it does um but rodzilla down to just this double red needing uh and he takes the first game good job rodzilla yep and that's gonna be uh the game one for rodzilla um looks like they're getting right back to it wow uh, barely a handshake and let's go <laughs> <laughs> well it's not over yet you don't shake his hand until until the game is over all uh you've completely lost uh or won but uh it looks like um Dave, I believe, got first combo here, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think Rodzilla was able to get maybe two or more here, and uh, the garbage is already piling up in column eight. He uses a horizontal to just clear take clear it down as much as he can. But uh, yeah, he's got like a traffic light going on in his column eight there, and you never want to see that. But I'm calling this like he's taking that yellow horizontally. I knew he was going to, and oh, he he did a different combo than I was expecting, but still another good combo play from Dave. Yeah, I mean, if there's Dave's play is uh, never never predictable. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I'm not surprised <laughs> to see him uh, making some innovative choices. Beautiful, another another drop play. So he is actually getting a lot of combos, whereas Rodzilla <laughs> is just setting up for a lot of stuff. Yep. Wow. He's uh, he's really like his setups are actually he's just going ham here. Um, he's gonna get another one. Also, just under clearing away from that blue to sort of make progress on the right while also uh, taking care of the center and sending his trash to his opponent. Now, one thing to mention here is uh, Rodzilla did actually get into the uh, quarterfinals uh, last year. So he is a returning um, player in the tournament and uh, we know he can do very well here. So. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he is, although is he's a little uh, plagued by yellows in the center of his board right now. Not oh, a lot of wow. for blues, not a lot of setups, whereas Dave is just pulling setups out of nowhere, just finding combos left and right. And it's uh, uh, it's starting to really take a toll on Rodzilla's board here. This is beautiful play from from Dave. Oh, and that blocked a, a yellow com or a yellow horizontal that he could have gotten, but he got gets it anyway. Sometimes the doctor actually does clear things that we want it to. So, <laughs> and it's uh, crazy. As soon as I say that Rodzilla's board is looking cluttered, it feels like I... he's just turned it right back around. Versus can just move so quickly that way. <laughs> where... It really does. <laughs> yeah, where it's as the the moment you think you know what's going on, uh, the whole uh, pace of the game, the goalposts have just completely moved around. It's it's incredible. Yeah, he's just making some really clean plays here and, and quick plays. And like you were saying before, those those plays that you can have minimal drop time and you can just keep churning them out, um, it really does help uh, clear up your board. So mm -hmm. uh, It looks like that's what uh, Razilla is doing because uh, he's much further down into the bottle than Dave is. He's dealing with a lot of uh, cluttered garbage, which may or may not produce a, a combo at some point. But uh, we're just waiting to see if he can find it. So far, he's making a lot of clears, but he's not actually making a lot of combos. And if he keeps spinning his wheels here, this is going to get away from him quickly. Yeah, and one of the things, like you were saying, you know, trash does not really hurt you in here if you can do something with it. But if it's not clearing those viruses, the end goal is actually clearing uh, your viruses first or getting the other person to top out. So if you're not yes. clearing those viruses, <laughs> you're, you're not... <laughs> 
<laughs> you're not doing what you need to. I was going to say to to your counterpoint, uh, technically, you don't have to clear all the viruses. You can top out your <laughs> opponent, and uh, I've seen it happen. <laughs> so don't uh, don't ever believe it's impossible to top out your opponent because if you uh, can come at him with enough combos and enough garbage, it's very possible. But I'm starting to get really scared for Dave Smith here where uh, he is making – good cleanup but it's uh it's just stacking up the bottle the pills are getting faster i'm not seeing a lot of combos and uh he's he's really got to turn it around here to to make a comeback absolutely but it's never it's never over like as we like saying you know any any time you think something is happening it, it could change and so um but yeah rodzilla now down to his last virus here it might be a little bit too much for uh dave to come back from. i mean it is quite blocked in if by some chance he was able to get a lot of combos right now very quickly <laughs> then then no i mean really it could turn it around but it looks like yeah. this last red is going to slide into place and that's going to be game two to rodzilla yeah, to, but to your point about the the combos, um, there is something such uh, as stun locking somebody, which is basically combo after combo and not letting them play anything, and that sometimes wins games. So mm -hmm. uh, it definitely is possible, but we haven't seen one yet. Wow. Um, that was an amazing first combo from Dave just now. <laughs> that was a crazy horizontal setup that I did not see coming. <laughs> we never do with Dave. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> never predictable. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Uh, so he's gonna looks like he's gonna take a, a double blue combo on the left here. And uh early on this is looking really good for Dave. Uh I'm seeing a lot of single clears and not a lot of combos being set up, but other than that, uh this is looking great. That's another combo right there. He's proven me wrong. Um and he's starting to uh to get an early lead. Absolutely. And again, uh, Rodzilla's board always kind of looks a little bit hairy at the beginning, but he's just, he has this eye for setting up the combos and getting um, everything really clean eventually, you know? So keep <laughs> keep your eyes on him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so things have, uh, are pretty much still progressing well for Dave. I don't see Rodzilla putting up too much of a, uh, a counter push here to, to sort of try to pull him back a little bit it looks like his board is the center of his board is starting to get really high and that's when things get dangerous and you're at risk of top out and dave does and not keeps... relent with the garbage mm -hmm. either. yeah it just keeps he keeps burying him so every time he tries to get something going there's just uh trash dropping on him so we'll see if he can turn this around yeah it's uh, i mean he's better he has to do something quickly because you always have to be uh just cognizant of the the, the impending doom of your pills getting so fast you can't control them. It it's, uh, won't be, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, but it, eventually you'll get there and uh, you have to take action well before that happens. Um, and he's just staying yeah, very close is... to the top of the board here as Dave is continuing to knock out combos. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I just keep seeing him try to set stuff up both horizontally and um, drop drop combos and it just doesn't happen but he's staying very calm for being as close to the top as he is oh yeah no, oh that's not, <laughs> there's just there, the garbage was too strong and dave's gonna take game three he's gonna put up a fight and see if he can reverse sweep here okay both players actually doing the same moves for once yes. <laughs> and i think rodzilla beats him to the first combo by a couple frames <laughs> but i think uh, dave finds the second one much quicker Mm -hmm. oh i see another combo set up for dave coming up here uh wow going right to the top of the screen for Rodzilla, uh just to clear it out sometimes uh sometimes that's the kind of moves you have to make uh and Rodzilla finds a nice uh horizontal setup gifted to him by some orbiting Ooh. garbage as well but this is not good i feel like there was a misdrop somewhere in here <laughs> well, he, he actually had a uh, part of the trash go down and he was waiting for a red to uh, basically combo um, on Dave's side and it just didn't come and then it got blocked. So that's one of the things with uh, trying to over combo or trying to do too much that sometimes you just don't do it quick enough and then your opponent ruins your plan so mm -hmm. definitely want to watch out for that and that's why speed matters because you have to be able to make the combos but you also have to get to them and knock them down before your opponent blocks it with a piece of garbage so uh the only way to do that is to be by play playing moves faster than they do oh look at this cross clear from dave oh, wow. oh that was beautiful oh, he's oh wow this, he's earning this game for right now <laughs> 
That's another oh combo my- for Dave. And I, I'm like, looks like Rozilla is at least in the realm of survival, but uh, it's incredible that he can even withstand this kind of an onslaught right now. Absolutely. And again, Dave, Dave is just kind oh, of going wow. for those, those combos that he's going to throw three pills over. So um, if you just do a regular combo, it sends two pieces of trash. But um, as you get uh, bigger and bigger combos, it can send up to four pieces of trash over to your opponent. And that's what Dave is trying to do. He doesn't <laughs> want to settle for just one combo. He He's doing it all. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. He's just finding these these incredible setups. Um, I here's another one. Look at this. this is oh, crazy. Rod Rodzilla is not looking oh, good here. That's oh, that's gonna be it for him. We're going to game five. Davis. Oh, we have a decider. Let's go. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. Uh, I can't wait to see who gets first combo here. Let's see if they play the same again. I doubt it. With oh, no. oh, Quite yep. A little okay. Divergence here. No <laughs> one's made a combo yet, though. It's actually very long for. Uh, for the first that, that was an l i believe so that'll be mm-hmm. first combo for dave yep uh but both of them mostly just seem to be content to to clear their boards out other than that um not seeing a lot of damage being sent either way interesting um dave is doing some interesting stuff uh, as he does and so i'm just trying to figure out where he's now oh, here's a t into job combo so that that was really good mm-hmm. on his part it's possible because I don't think Rod has sent any garbage as of yet. I think it's possible he might just be playing for safety at the start. I know there are mm-hmm. some players who favor that uh, that sort of strategy, um, but it looks like he's finally going to send some garbage over now. Um, that'll actually be a double. Uh, that's two doubles in a row. He's just chained them together wow. um, to stack them up. But he gets, Dave gets a, a combo out of it <laughs> and sends it right back to him. Now, I will say he might be playing the where that, like you said, that safety because he did top out the past two games. So he is probably trying to not have that happen again. That's true. That does make you scared for sure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it looks like he's once again just contesting Ooh. with the top of the board because the only problem with safety is that if your opponent is, is sending garbage to you, uh, you're not actually getting ahead. It is keeping you Oh, here's the a game, stun Yep, that's... that was a three pill stun lock or a three combo stun lock. So fine, yeah, um, definitely good to see. And it looks like it's cleared up his board quite a bit as well. I can only imagine. And it's definitely hindering uh, Dave here, who uh, tends to over combo a little, like not over combo, but do do the bigger plays um, much more than other people. So yeah, he goes for the big setups uh, <laughs> and the and the the you know the, he goes for the gutsy combos. I like to say. We love so, to see it. <laughs> oh, everyone loves to see it. And when it works, it's incredible, as we've seen in the mm-hmm. last two games. Um, but it looks like uh, he might be hitting a stumbling block now. That's a huge T for Rodzilla, and his center is really opening up now, uh, pulling ahead in virus count. And uh, Dave is going to have to find some some garbage here and hope that he can... Which he does. He can kibosh this a little bit. Yep, he's... St- still putting up a fight here but it's not really deterring rod he's not getting any sort of uh crazy garbage because at the same time he, he's so far up on his board he's not making any progress virus wise mm. so he has to really be comboing hard or else and that's well that's a good start but uh he's <laughs> gonna need more of that uh, to come back and take this but sometimes it sets up a combo for your opponent that you weren't expecting and that's exactly what it did over on rod's side so mm-hmm. um you know, it's it's kind of that double-edged sort of, yeah, you want to send trash, but you could also be setting your, your opponent up, so. Exactly. Well, I mean, it, you just got to sort of take the chance sometimes that that's not going <laughs> to happen. Wow. And he's he's certainly delivering with the flashy combos now. Uh, wow. That's a quad, a quad yellow. My goodness. Uh, going over to Rodzilla, but I... He's he's just playing at such a brisk pace. I don't know if, uh, if this is going to be enough unless Dave really turns it up here in the next little bit. But Rodzilla, he's just, uh, things continue to fall in his favor. Every time he has something that he clears, it sets up the next thing oh, he needs to clear. He's so. just speed running at this point. Yes. <laughs> yep, and Which it's he... not going to be long now. That last red is all he needs. Oh. And he's going to have to sweat it out as the garbage falls. And that's going to be it. it. And he lets it fall. And that's going to be game set and match to Rodzilla. He's going to move on to the, to the quarterfinals.